How did the intermediate tyre last the whole race? The Turkish Grand Prix was a bit of an odd one, wasn't it? We actually witnessed a no-stop race in the form of Esteban Ocon, which is practically unheard of. Lewis Hamilton also wished he'd done the same, but how? How can an intermediate tyre last an entire Formula 1 race? The conditions in Turkey were incredibly bizarre for an F1 race. The whole thing was run in a kind of misty drizzle. Normally, Formula 1 cars would be able to hoover away any water on track and create a dry line. But in Turkey, they were only able to partially manage that. It was so humid that the water couldn't completely dry up and it meant that there was a half dry, half wet track surface. And when I say half dry, it still wasn't bone dry, otherwise Sebastian Vettel's attempt wouldn't have been so painful to watch. The intermediate was the tyre of choice. It can clear the small amount of water that was left on the track, but also has enough of a contact patch to work when finding those dry patches. A small amount of water on the track keeps the tyre temperatures cool and maintains performance. The pit straight was a great example of where we saw this. It's not a perfect tyre though. When the intermediate tyre is on a track where the conditions aren't optimal, like in Turkey, it wears quite aggressively. This track was proving tough on tyres in the dry practice running on Friday, so with a tyre like the intermediate, it was very tricky. When the inter wears, the grooves became shallower and the tyre basically becomes a special slick. The slintermediate, which is my favourite nickname for it, that develops is basically a very soft grippy tyre that works at a low temperature. That was why it worked so well in the nearly dry but not quite dry Istanbul Park. It operates like an ordinary slick tyre, just with a lower working temperature. The reason Sebastian Vettel wasn't able to make his medium tyre gamble work was because they needed a much higher working temperature to activate the grip. When they're freezing, they just skate over the surface because the rubber doesn't heat up enough and can't become sticky. That's why Seb's tyres didn't stick to the track. The Inter can wear down to the Slintermediate, genuinely do love this nickname, quite quickly, and when the grooves have worn away, it wears much more gently. The fact that the Intermediate can develop into a fairly workable, if unusual, tyre is what made strategy so confusing for the teams in Turkey. In a normal dry race, drivers must use more than one compound of tyre. For instance, if they start on the soft, they must use either the hard or medium by the end of the race, or they get disqualified. It's pretty simple. But in wet conditions, this rule gets waived and teams have no tyre restrictions. So technically, a driver like Esteban Ocon can do the whole race on one set of tyres. On top of this, a brand new intermediate tyre in the strange conditions didn't give that much of a performance benefit anyway. Drivers were finding that a fresh inter would give them a couple laps of decent performance, then it would enter a graining stage as it struggled on the track. So what is tyre graining? Well, it's basically when strips of rubber peel off the tyre but then stick back to the hot surface and create an uneven and bumpy tyre. This obviously would make the tyre pretty awful and the pace plummets. After a few laps though, the rubber that was torn off gets worn down and the pace comes back. So with decent performance lasting for ages on the intermediate and not much of a gain from a fresh tyre, teams considered gambling on using the Inter all the way to the end of the race. It had a relatively consistent performance and allowed them to keep track position. These are both big pluses. The negatives though are that wearing down a tyre so far can risk both a puncture and the tyre performance cliff. With intermediate tyres being a huge unknown for long stints, it's hard to tell when any of this will happen. Charles Leclerc and Lewis Hamilton considered it, but they were both picked by their teams who thought it was too much of a risk. Only one driver actually did that strategy and it was Alpine's Esteban Ocon. His tyre did last all 58 laps, but it was absolutely shredded by the end of the race. Esteban reckoned he had one lap left in it before it blew. It also definitely hit the cliff because he was closed in on by Giovinazzi by five seconds on his final lap of the race. It was possible to get to the end, but it was stretching the tyre to its absolute extremities. Essentially, the intermediate tyres in these weird conditions were able to be manipulated in a very unique way and turn it into a grippy, slick tyre which could run in the less abrasive, cooler conditions. Once the tyre got to that stage, drivers were able to manage it for much longer than any usual stint, but it was stretching the technology right to its limit. There you have it, how the intermediates managed to go far longer into the race than anyone truly expected. Do you think it was the right call to go the whole race on them? Let us know in the comment section below.